Father's Day. What is the first rule that you have to follow on Mother's Day? You have to listen to your mom. You guys said that with so much enthusiasm, it was amazing. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so I want to encourage you guys. See, moms, moms do a lot of stuff for us. And moms take in different shapes and forms. We all have a mom that's our biological mom, right? She gave birth to us and has an important role in our life. But I want to encourage you in the midst that we probably have other people that we can call mom. Maybe a teacher that spends special time with you. Maybe a grandma that you look up to, an aunt, a neighbor, a friend, a scout leader, uh, a person that picks you up and takes you places. They do special things for us. But I want to encourage you today that moms have special superpowers. All right? You need to keep these in mind. I learned these growing up. Number one, moms have eyes in the back of their head. They can see you everywhere that you are. All right? Number two, moms have super hearing. In the absolute silence of the house, mom can find out what you're doing. All right? Moms have an uncanny ability to know you're not always being honest. It's almost like they can read our minds, right? And they know exactly what the answer needs to be before you get there. But moms also have a super heart. And all that they do, and the caring they have, their focus is to make sure that you have the best in your lives. Either the best health, the best to take care of, the best efforts that you grow up to be a good young woman, a good young man in your life. But they emulate that through somebody else that has those same powers. And that's our Father in Heaven, in Jesus, His Son, and the Holy Spirit. They know where we are at all times. They know what's in our hearts. They know what's in our minds. They know what's best for us. And so in a lot of ways, Mom set an example for us of how God will love us and take care of us and treat us. So I want you all today to take a special moment today when you're taking back your gift for your mom or a special person in your life. And today when you maybe have lunch or dinner or if you see them throughout the day, to remember to give them a special hug. And I thank you for being good mom. Do you think we can do that today? Yeah. 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 No. My mom's my Your mom's a scout leader. She covers it all over. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom has superpowers. She slept on a floor in a museum the other day. Yeah. 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 All right. All right, guys. Bow our heads for a prayer. I want you to go back to your parents. Your father, pray today to guide and direct these young members of our congregation. Father, again, for the blessings of new believers, we thank you so much that their hearts have been tuned to you and they've made the decision to ask you to be Savior and Lord. Father, that is a, the most awesome, spectacular Mother's Day gift of all. The kids will come to know you and be your children in all things. So Father, we thank you today for their love, for their excitement, for their joy, for everything they do and all they do. We pray today that you do with them and God. We pray. Amen. All right. Here's the rule today.